All right, today I'm in a WA500 and I'm just gonna go over the factory payload system. Uh, so on your main screen, you've got your current bucket weight, your target weight, or your subtraction weight. And then this is the plus symbol says that we're adding. So if you're getting accumulated payload, that'll add, or you can change it to subtraction, which it'll put up a minus. And then you'll have a target weight here. And then as you fill up the bucket, it'll subtract from this weight here. On the joysticks for your payload system, this button here will get rid of your uh, current bucket that you just weighed, and then this button here will reset the entire um, entire target. Scrolling over to the second tab, this is where you're going to do your payload. So first um, tab highlighted there is your material selection. So you can actually select different types of material. So just hypothetically, say we want to use a B material. When we go back to our main screen, now it's going to have our B material with this, the addition mode. Uh, if we go back to that, and then if we want to subtract, we just go into here, say subtraction, and then it's going to ask for a target weight. So we're say we're doing 100 ton, hit tick, okay, and then once we go back to this, now we're subtracting in our B material, and our target weight is 100 ton. Other features is your production display and reset. So at the start of the day, you can um, gather your fuel consumption or reset this, and then you can accumulate your production uh, tonnage per hour, liters per hour, and then your material. And then that'll accumulate here. So you can see if I want to reset that, it goes in here. So just hit the tick button again, and then that'll clear the production setting. And that just says, hey, you started today at 12.56, and then that's when your end out is that's because we're looking at it live right now. So the cool thing with this is as you switch materials throughout the day, it'll actually accumulate for each um, material. So now we're just in our total load weight option. Uh, this gives you your total dumping counts and your tonnage, and then your last reset of when you reset it. So to reset that, just hit the tick button, and then you're saying yes. So now it'll give you the time that you reset it and the date and you can reset each one of these materials depending on what you're loading. Calibration, you can do an empty calibration or then it'll ask you to do half a ton, half a bucket, sorry, and a full bucket calibration just to make sure all the weights are right. And lastly, you can turn your payload off. So I've got about nine ton in the bucket right now, so I'm gonna weigh it. Um, the cool thing is just rev your engine up, lift your bucket up and then as soon as you stop, It'll give you a uh, rough idea of what you're in the bucket. And then you can see how that's just subtracted from your target weight. So in order to reset it, all I need to do is uh, hypothetically um, dump the machine, uh, dump the bucket. I'm just gonna bring this down again as if I just loaded it back up again. And then now lifting it back up. And then you can see that that's got 9.4, it's subtracted again, or I can press this button and it's actually cleared that last bucket. Now say I want to reset the target, I just hold this button in here, and that's reset the target back to where it was at initially.